2017 marked a major turning point in North Korea's ICBM program. On November 28, 2017, they successfully tested the HS-15 Hwasong-15 missile, showing that the country is capable of developing long-range ICBMs. Along with progress in its long-range liquid-fuel missile program, North Korea has also quietly improved the capabilities of artillery systems and short- and medium-range solid-fuel missiles. For example, the KN-23 missile first appeared in the military parade in February 2018. KN-23, officially the Hwasong 11 ga is a designation given to a North Korean solid field tactical ballistic missile. The KN-23 bears an external resemblance to the Russian Iskander-M and South Korean Hyunmu 2B SRBMs, being distinguished by its elongated cable raceway, different jet van actuators, and smooth base. It is believed that the KN-23 was developed with the help of Russia and China. The KN-23 missile is approximately 7.3 meters long with a diameter of 0.9 meters. It can carry a nuclear, chemical, or conventional warhead weighing around 500 kilograms. With a range of 600 to 700 kilometers and a circular euro probable of 5 to 30 meters, the missile is notably accurate. This single stage solid fuel missile surpasses the capabilities of North Korea's earlier KN-02 missile, which has a range of only 100 to 120 kilometers. The KN-23's larger vehicle, initially presented in an 8x8 configuration, measures approximately 13 meters in length, 3.5 meters in width, and 3.5 meters in height, and weighs around 40 tons. It is operated by a crew of three and was initially capable of carrying two missiles. The design of these chassis, possibly originating from Belarus or China, shows notable differences from the Russian Iskander's MZKT-7930 chassis. In 2020, a new version with a track chassis was demonstrated, maintaining the dual missile carrying capability. The KN-23 launcher truck is powered by a diesel engine of around 500 horsepower. The vehicle can reach speeds of up to 70 km per hour and has an operational range of about 1000 km. It demonstrates significant maneuverability, able to handle gradients of 45%, side slopes of 30%, vertical step up to 0.6 meters, trenches up to 2 meters, and floating depths up to 1.4 meters. This mobility is crucial for the tactical deployment and repositioning of the missile system to avoid detection and targeting. The KN-23 is likely to replace older liquid fuel North Korean SRBMs like the Hwasong-5 and Hwasong-6. Being road mobile and solid fuel, it can be moved and fired more rapidly, making it more difficult for an opposing force to locate and target before firing. Once launched, the missile's low apogee, short overall flight time, and ability to conduct a terminal pull-up maneuver makes it harder to detect and be intercepted by traditional missile defense systems. Its increased accuracy also reduces the number of missiles that could be needed to destroy a single target. 
the KN23 is designed to challenge hostile air defense systems, capable of deviating from its initial flight trajectory, thereby complicating interception efforts. Its range and payload options make it a significant threat in the region, especially considering its capability to reach on areas of South Korea. The introduction and enhancement of the KN-23 underscores North Korea's focus on advancing its strategic military capabilities and pose new challenges for missile defense strategies in the region.